Benedict's has been placed in these six tubes to look for sugar, presence of sugar. Tube one started with amylase and water, was placed in the body temperature for a half an hour. Benedict's is blue if, if um, no sugar is present. So this was boiled with Benedict's and no sugar was present. Test tube two contained starch and water, was placed at body temperature for 30 minutes. If you look carefully, this is not light blue. This is a shade of green, and under closer inspection, there are small red particles precipitate in this solution, indicating some reaction. So starch began to digest, but Benedict's discovered a very small amount of sugar in tube two. Tube three was maltose, a sugar, and water left at body temperature for 30 minutes. You get a nice brick red color. That's the reaction between Benedict's and maltose. Tube four, the enzyme was boiled. The amylase enzyme was boiled in an attempt to destroy it. It was then mixed with starch and left for 30 minutes at body temperature. No reaction occurred, no digestion occurred of the starch because the enzyme was destroyed by boiling. Test tube five was amylase and starch. After a half an hour body temperature, lots of sugar was produced. We can see that because the, malt, the Benedict's reacted with the sugar and produced this orange brick color. Test tube six was enzyme and starch left at zero degrees centigrade for 30 minutes. But the explanation for why sugar is present is that enzyme and starch were at room temperature when they were put into the cold.